This is FinTech Hawaii. Community matters here. And a half? One. <laughs> Aloha! <laughs> How you doing? Going on the text <laughs> are you? And welcome to another exciting and thrilling episode of Hibachi Talk. I've got Rick's my co-host today, the Fundmeister. Everybody knows him. He's got more money than God. So, yeah. <laughs> but not the Catholic Church. <laughs> not the Catholic Church. Because <laughs> God gave it all away. Anyway, please uh, pull up a chair, grab yourself a libation. We're going to sit here with Dr. Jonaki Berman, and we're going to talk about I want to say chiro. See, I can't even get that in my head. Chiropractic. Thank you very much. Chiropractic. You're, you have a, your, your own firm that's been in Waikiki for quite some time. Um, you have a pretty incredible background, which we will ask about right now. So the first question is, so tell us a little bit about yourself. Where did you go to school? What possessed you to get into this um, field? Um, well, I went to USC pre-med and decided to take that into chiropractic because that's been my primary form of health care my entire life mm. since I was 11. He went to U.S. No, he went to no, Berkeley. I went to Berkeley. He went to Berkeley. So <laughs> just, Sorry about yeah. the game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for, for the last several that last decades. Was that last yeah, week? You got you kicked their butt? Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> but always has for the last several years. Anyway, yeah. sorry. Decades. I keep yeah, butting okay. in so you have to get used to it. So anyway, but um, so pre-med, Got into mm -hmm. this and? and you know I had a lot of choices of where to take my degree but you know as I was reminded chiropractic has been my form of health care okay. um, you know I was a competitive gymnast for 14 years so I started having back pain at 11 mm. you know so I have had <laughs> chiropractic care ever since then so you think though but when I think of chiropractor I think of back pain but isn't it, it's more than that, right? Right. It's really about the neurology of the body. Okay. Um, so picture, you know, all the nerves come down and out from the spinal cord. What happens when you put pressure on the nerve? Like, it, it's the same as you're trying to water the garden and okay. someone's standing on the hose. Oh, okay. So how That's you're great. losing the nerve flow to, you know, your organ systems, to the muscles, and that also impedes the blood flow right in and out and the lymph <clears throat> so it really affects your overall health and we believe that the body has an innate capacity to heal itself if all impediments are removed okay. you know it's gotten more complicated in the modern world because we're eating junk we're eating chemicals <laughs> yeah I, I won't go I tell me about it <laughs> <laughs> i can go on and on about I've, that uh, and you have <laughs> <laughs> but it's also about the post special postgraduate specialties I have that allow me to be able to work with a lot of like subclinical thyroid, digestive issues. Um, just so, so you're much. thinking digestive issues like so I'm thinking digestive issues and, and then the chiro keeps coming up to it. Which I is, know right. Chiropractic has that word chiro in it which is like the worst <laughs> donut you could ever get in the world. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, so. So, you, you're, so you have to deal with not just the spinal column. Um, you have to do my diet yeah, I mean, but this is me. Okay. Many, most chiropractors, I, I'm actually really different in that not just my extensive postgraduate training that allows me to have the knowledge to be able to treat these things, mm -hmm. but like I work on, you know, carpal tunnel to me is easy fix. You know, I work on feet, I work on knees, shoulders. You know, my, my treatment times go for an hour. So um, I'm really doing a lot for the patient all at once. You know, most people are expecting like a 15 minute, you know, crack, put things in line and bye bye. And I yeah, don't stand think you that's up, expected. bend you forward, sideways, whatever yeah. it is. And that's kind of been my mindset of exactly. chiropractors. But you're, you're giving me a whole kind of different way of looking at it. Yep. Holistically. Right. Which is a word that's used a lot, but it really is holistic. Well, it really just means, you know, looking at the whole. Like not, not saying, okay, you, you came to me for a shoulder, so I'm going to treat that shoulder, and we're not going to, you know, take into account the problems with your neck when yeah, it's all one you complex. Mm, you mm. know, you got the scapula, you got the collarbone, you got the neck, you know, the upper back. You're not going to fix the shoulder by just looking at the shoulder. So that would be a holistic view. So, so um, you, when your patients come to you, they come through, um, through referrals and through... Um, uh, cause you're, uh, you, I don't see you pounding the payment doing a lot of marketing, but you seem to be pretty damn busy. Um, well, it's mostly referral. Um, and of course that's the best because, you know, these people are more serious about seeing me. Um, because of my location in Waikiki, I do see tourists, mm. which is kind of a fun, different challenge because yeah. I, I see, you know, you seem to attract like attracts like. And so, but I get one or two chances to change their world. So right. you took a high risk, though, going into this on your own. I mean, you got your, your own business. So you right. started this up, your business, easy. and it's not easy. You've invested a lot 
of money and technology and equipment. We'll talk about that in mm -hmm. the second half. So whatever possessed you to take this huge risk? Um, honestly, I, did, I never thought past helping people, honestly. You know, I only thought about the work and getting my hands on people and how I could help them. And, you know, you just assume that the rest will follow. If you're good at what you do you, and you're trying hard and you have everyone in your best interest, then it should come back around. It should, and should come back around. So um, what has been some of the most challenging um, uh, we have to be, but comply with HIPAA laws here. So, what is <laughs> the, right. yeah, so we got no, HIPAA. No, no, no. So, what have been some of the most challenging um, uh, circumstances that you've come up against? Um, Besides the government. Yeah, right. <laughs> Uh, let's see. <laughs> I mean, we're not patients. on a level yeah, of patients, yeah. Well, you know, but besides I, Ricks and I, I mean, yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. They, um, I'd say, like, you know, I work with polo players on island, and they've been oh. doing this for how many years? And they're like, like, it's uh, yeah. Yeah, they're on, they're <laughs> you know, on horseback. They all have cumulative effects. Yeah, right. they're riding yeah. horses, totally stabilized here, and then swinging a mallet. And then the other part of the game is to try to knock the other person's out the way so you can get the ball. Right. Right. So that's, so, yeah, and the, the, were you at the polo event? Um, that one I was not at. Oh, a couple I, weeks ago. I, yeah. I had a conflict. But, um, so did I. Yeah, um, but I've treated my youngest patient, I actually treated at Kapiolani Hospital the day she was born. Wow. wow. Yep. Oh, you got to tell me about that. Oh, yeah, because his wife to, is, um, well, you go ahead. Delivery so, nurse yeah, because when you just think about it. The baby's been squished inside and then it comes out and you don't know how they got turned or moved or whatever. So it's more of just a very, I mean, the pressure is like, you know, it's like this. They're, they're not bones yet. But yeah. you want to make sure that we, I mean, we call it birth trauma, but it's not necessarily trauma, like a real trauma trauma, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but it's just so that they can grow and develop optimally. And that goes for all children in chiropractic care. You don't usually need to see them off, and there isn't usually that much of an issue. And parents tend to dismiss it because they say, oh, they'll just outgrow it, they're kids. They don't, they grow into it. These little yeah. things that happen in childhood, right. they carry through. And those are the people I'm seeing in their 30s, 40s, 50s, I'm going, but what happened to your back? I, I just don't know, but yeah. it's bothered me. Yeah. Or why do you have such so bull legs would, like yeah. I have? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't is, stop it. Everything pitch. kind of straightened out right after birth mm -hmm. and the pregnancy and the birth. And I also and do straighten um, everything out and let's go from here. Uh, one of my postgraduates is Webster and Utero Constraint Technique. So in other words, the baby's breech, and if and, and if it is due to a uter in utero. Constraints. Yeah. Then, yeah. His um, wife would know how to say that. I don't know how to say it either. <laughs> I'm just too excited. I just can't help myself. So um, if it's if that is the problem, I can release what's keeping the baby from turning, and they usually turn that night. Wow. I mean, if it's due to something else, like a shortened umbilical cord, no, I can't help that. Yeah. There's no you way. know. So I mean, I should say that as a disclaimer all around. It's like depends on what the problem is, yeah. whether yeah. I can help it. If it's a surgical issue. You know, I can mm -hmm. optimize your surgery pre and post op, mm -hmm. but you know, I, we still got to have the surgery. Yeah. Which, yeah, which is go ahead, go ahead. Well, how do how do you get brought into a case like that? Is that uh, the, treating the grandparents, the, the, mom, the great grandparents, the parents? Patient? You know, the yeah. the the mom and dad. Mom. You know, so when it's usually a situation where I know the family, or when someone panics and goes online, <laughs> and that's not <laughs> ah. that fun. You know, they, it's like you know, I'm doing two weeks, I'm breach, and I don't know anything about them, and, and they've been right. getting no and care, and I, you know, I, I'm not out there on the internet with that as much. Mm -hmm. But also, my oldest patient, we can jump to the other end, was 104. Oh, close wow. to him. Yeah. <laughs> older, than, older than you. Gosh. Whoa. I didn't think there was anybody older than hey, you. Yeah, he was a little stiff after running the marathon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, so it's like, you know, I'm very adaptable in my techniques for, yeah. you know, I'm very conscious of people's, you know, where people are in different stages of life because you have to be aware of, you know, you know, there might be arthritis in the neck now that they're in their 60s, 70s, whatever. Right. You know. So yeah. So and and you know. So so like this, right? This is not arthritis. This is <laughs> this is Viking's curse. <laughs> <laughs> and got it on the other hand too. Look at your face. Oh my God! What are you doing? These? <laughs> Cut them off. So 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 I'm just really intrigued with the with the babies. So the fact that you know that 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 you um, like how do you move them around? Like, um, well, what I, I generally do is I observe them because there's a lot of tells. Like, they only want to turn their head one way. 
you know, you just observe. Is this you know, through what a, is isn't symmetrical? Through an ultrasound or? No, they're just on the table in front of me, right here. So you just observe yep. them? Yeah. And, and I'm just watching. Okay. And then yeah. I'll try to see what the mobility is. And it's usually pretty good on children, so you just have to be really aware. And I'm pretty in, just intuitive with it. Like I had this baby, you know, in front of me on the table. I was straddling the table. And um, all of a sudden I said to the mom, how's his stomach? And then, <laughs> <laughs> and I was just about to pick him up. And then oh, I, this is after. I was thinking the one, the pre, the pre-birth when you get them, when they're oh, oh they're, when they're they're breached and how you get them to. Turn oh, around. sorry. No, I thought. Um, no, I understand oh. the other part. <laughs> yeah. So, but when I'm treating an infant that's been born, I usually lay on my back and put them on me so they're comfortable. And I and like I said, yeah, I just feel where things aren't right. Check the hip mobility. You know, looking for symmetry. I saw and a photo of that. On your website, maybe. yeah, it was yeah. On your website with, with um, that was the baby that was that I treated at birth, and that was her, you know, on follow up visit mm -hmm. in my office. Yeah, because yeah, I said, oh, I said, well, I didn't realize she had a child. I didn't realize, <laughs> realize, no, look at that face. I don't, but I realized, I realized then because it was at your office that you know, I said, oh, I wonder why that would be there. So that's why. Yeah. Wow, this is pretty incredible. Uh, you know, four four months or that baby was like, how old was that baby on that photo? Um, less than six months. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The weeks. couple months. Yeah, a couple weeks, of months yeah. old, and then you go to 104. For if you don't mind me asking, what did you treat the 104 year old for? I was actually also <laughs> Without doing violating exor law. exercise training with her. And she, we were doing like squats, we would do half hour exercise sessions, not, no kidding. And, um, you know, but she had actually had the first fall of her life and hurt her back wow. doing it. Wow. You know? And so believe it or not, scary when they're scary, you know? Yeah, well, tell me but at my age. Broke, at least. Tell me at my yeah. age. You know, if he falls, we'll never get him up. So, <laughs> <laughs> except he's lost a lot of weight and he's looking darn good. And he's I'm really, looking for he's it. He's really though. starting to irritate the hell out of me, as opposed to me who's going the other way. I know you've been talking to me. I gotta listen to you. <laughs> anyway, I gotta take a break, and then we're gonna come yep. back and talk about some of the technologies you've got. I got mm -hmm. a couple of photos of your. Um, of your studio, is Great. it called a studio? Well, I call it the exercise studio and uh, the chiropractic whatever. office. Okay, we'll do that, we'll come back. And I didn't talk about Bitcoin, so I gotta talk about Bitcoin just a little bit. And oh, then I also gotta talk about Angus, because he's not here, but he's heartbroken. <laughs> anyway, we'll be back in a minute. This is Think Tech Hawaii, raising public awareness. Some say scuba divers are the poor man's astronaut. At Dive Heart, we believe that to be true. We say forget the moon. Dive Heart can help children, adults, and veterans of all abilities escape gravity right here on Earth. Search DiveHeart.org and imagine the possibilities in your life. Match day is no ordinary day. The pitch, hallowed ground for players and supporters alike. Excitement builds. Game plans are made with responsibility in mind. Celebrations are underway. Ready for kickoff. MLS clubs and our supporters rise to the challenge. We make responsible decisions while we cheer on our heroes and toast their success. Elevate your match day experience. If you drink, never drive. Aloha, and welcome back to Ibachi Talk. Gordo the Techs are here. We're here with Dr. Jana Key Berman, chiropractor extraordinaire. Ooh, I like, I just, I just coined that phrase. And Mr. I like it. Mr. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Mr. Maurer, the Fundmeister, is here with us today as well. So anyway, a um, couple things. First of all, I usually do a thing about Bitcoin in the beginning, but I was so excited about you being here that I forgot. Mm -hmm. So Go I got to put a little comment in there. So we do a cryptocurrency update every week. So um, cryptocurrency, by the way, Bitcoin broke at $4,000 today. It's, yeah, that's pretty amazing. And so what we're finding, though, is that there's a lot of um, debit cards being created now that you can use Bitcoin to purchase your goods with. Yeah. Just like a Starbucks card, you load it up with Bitcoin, Bitcoin. and it gets converted to cash. So that's what these um, 
cryptocurrency cards are doing, and they're popping up all over. You see Visa with them now, MasterCard and such, and so it's really causing the market to kind of like reevaluate itself and take off. So it's again another thing that's coming in here, and I keep telling everybody, you should take Bitcoin. I'll help you do that. All right. Well, <laughs> okay. Why not? Oh, I take them. No, I have one, no one's ever paid me. You have what? <laughs> I have Square to take credit cards. You have Square to take credit cards. So, there, so you're, already, you're already in the tech side. So that's what's happening. Anyway, Angus is not here today. I and know. I know, I'm sorry. I know you're so decimated. Um, but um, <laughs> uh, you were the one that brought to our attention a little photo you had of you and Angus <laughs> on a little secret uh, rendezvous, I might add. So do we have that shot? Look at who the hell is that? <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> Angus is looking pretty happy. Look yeah, at his yeah, 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 yeah. popping right out of his head. <laughs> How, how's his shoulder look there, you know? Does he, does he need to work on his neck and his I back? Don't, I don't know. <laughs> and doctor, you seem to be rather into it, I might add. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this is better than half an Angus here when he's got that one. You know, I'm blushing just thinking about it. Anyway, so um, so let's get back to this. So you, you're, you're a uh, chiropractor, you're a um, uh, physical, uh, physical therapist, therapist uh, trainer, you're just personal trainer. So you're, 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 you're spread out all over the kinds of things. Well, well, not really, because basically if you boil all of it down, I, my, my specialty is all of physical medicine and exercise and how they interact to, you know, and, you know, not everybody does both with me, but um, I always have, you know, like the, the PT and the personal training, like exercise tools to help people that that's what they really need to stabilize their adjustments. So very, uh -huh. very, very synergistic, mm, you mm. know, um, it's, I mean, basically if you get the person all aligned, well, don't you want to back that up with some specific exercise to stabilize you there, sure. so Strengthen that you know, so you know, I don't want to just keep fixing the same thing. Right. You know, I want to, I want to teach you how to prevent things in the future. Balance. Yes, and you know, performance enhancement for athletes. There's, there's a lot of ways it goes, but um, you know, you can't tell people what to do. But I prefer to, you know, have it be synergistic where the patient is helping themselves mm. and they're doing their exercises as well. And, you know, you don't have to, but um, like I be. said, it's a it's a very good combination. It's the three. It's the kind of combination of the three. So let's talk. One of the questions that I have is like, and I got I have two, but the first one I'm going to ask is, how has technology changed your patients? I mean, you know, we're a lot different now when we're coming mm -hmm. to see you. So how? And because you have technology to to help you with the insistence and, and, and treatment, but how, how have we changed how you react to us? Okay, well, what, um, you know, this is something I w I've been thinking about, how, because I get frustrated, it used to be pretty simple. You show a patient, this is how you need to set up your workstation. You know, in the past, uh -huh. I've gone into companies and done lectures on this, mm -hmm. you know, at, to avoid work comp, you know, and it, some of it's so simple. But now it's like, well, why is your monitor, if you're sitting here, why is your monitor over there? Well, because that's where the outlet is. That's where the cables are. So in other words, all the workstations are getting set up to accommodate the technology rather mm. than the actual person who's working. Mm. And one of the, the, I mean, there's a lot of problems with this. Like I said, a lot of people are, are working at right angles to their monitor. Right, they're like which this. Which is insane, right, absolutely right. insane. Right. Um, but the other phenomenon that happens, and this is a recent study on back pain, you know, like what can we do to prevent back pain in the workplace? Where is it coming from? Okay, well, the obvious is people that are repetitively bending over and lifting, right? Okay. You know, physical jobs where you lift a lot and, you know, of things in front of you. But equally now, the problem is what's called creep. You sit, you don't get up, and the ligaments uh, supporting your spine literally stretch out like old elastic. Mm. Mm. So and you lose... So you lose stability. So what happens, you know, it's not that most patients aren't coming to me saying, oh my God, I fell and got hurt. Well, I, you know, I, after work, I went home, and this is a true story from a 30-year-old, and I went into my kitchen to make dinner. I reached for the lettuce in the refrigerator and was on the ground. And that was prob probably sitting for numerous hours in oh, front yeah, of like the Oh, yeah, like most monitor. people get involved, you know. So let me ask about things like, um, I see these um, desks or things you can put on it now that you that elevate it where you stand up and you can work standing up. Are they 
Are they things that we great. should be considering? I really think so. Um, there's one, the, I mean, I always think of the Ergotron because that was like, it seemed like it was kind of more the first one right. of its kind. And that one can go up and down, which I kind of like because you may want to sit down at some yeah. point. Um, but people have hours, to be aware it's not down. just to lift your workstation so you stand all day. You need to be wearing good shoes. <laughs> Okay. You know, See, yeah, and not your slippers. I, right, and I would be putting, um, like, the mats I have in my kitchen, you know, the squishy oh, rubber floor, yeah. mats. Okay. You know, and you're better standing because you are shifting whether you notice it or not. Mm -hmm. You know, you're not just... Right. So the rubber mat, you know, the fact that you can adjust differently, probably not hunched over, yeah, laptops, that's a problem. What I know I see what I'm doing right here. I know, I mean, uh, I caught one of my right. patients like this. Yeah, doing this for and hours. And a lot of times they're, um, like, one of my favorite people in the world. Well, she helps me out with my business, but she puts her laptop on her lap, crosses her legs around each other, and then ends up like this. Oh, that and doesn't sound And she's doing it in my office, and I said, yeah. So, so bad for the neck. Yeah. Bad for everything. Bad, bad for. But me. actually, you know, tech snack now is like I really believe it's going to believe it's going to be a medical diagnosis What's because it tech snack. It's text. Text neck. Text, text, ah. neck. text neck. Oh, from us doing this. Yep. You see the angle <laughs> of your yeah, neck. Yeah. So I'm doing this. I got text neck. And what you see on X-ray is you know your spine okay. curves this, this way. This way. While I'm doing this. And so I should be doing it like this. Yes. Text acting, okay. And I, you know, I do things like I'll grab like a pillow and put it on the table, you know, um, and I do, if I'm going to be on my phone extended, I actually sit cross-legged because that's what works for me, but I stack pillows again. So I bring the phone to me versus You're like going this. to the phone. Right. What about thumbs? Wait. I mean, we're all doing this now. Yeah, yeah. I'm starting to see the, 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 uh, you the, know, the effects of everybody doing this all the time. Yeah. And like this one, my eyes too can't see. Well, put it this way, every patient that comes in, the, I don't care what their complaint is, the first thing I do is work on their hands. Mm. Like, as in, um, release the carpal tunnel, you know, um, and then oh, you'll have, you'll have see the stuff. Field day with these puppies. Yeah. Come on in. <laughs> I love a challenge. Oh, right? yeah, this is a, I'll come back next week and they'll work. Yeah. Um, but I mean, I think week, we, I think. <laughs> we, we always have thought that, okay, the carpal tunnel is the result of the technology and now it's moving okay carpal tunnel but also tech neck mm -hmm. text neck text neck i know that's, neck the, that's the i know text neck because we're texting yes yeah. as opposed to tech neck which you could also use that yeah actually too. that's yeah. What i was going to say we could probably use right. that that same and if term. all we do you know is drive when we're driving the car as opposed to texting at the same time yeah well, yeah that would take part that. of it yeah <laughs> Hey, didn't the upgrade, uh, we're going to change for a second. The upgrade on a new phone allows you to put your phone in um, driving mode so that you, it'll automatically respond to someone and say, I'm driving, I can't text you right now. <gasps> I like that. that that's where that should be automatic. I, I have it to should tell be you. a tie, yeah, yeah. automatic tie. That's what I heard, the new phone. iOS has that. I haven't downloaded it yet, but I'm going I'm to do it shortly. Okay, my other qu tech question, because I've seen these. I see these people that wear these black, kind of like straps. It's like... Um, Titanium, oh. is it? Or it's a band? Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, there's so, no, two what, things, two things. So One. I see football players with them on their knees. I see people with them on their shoulders, some people with them on their back. Brett Farb has one on the TV, those kinds of things. I yeah. love it. I do that. I have, I, it's like the nail place. I go, what color tape you want? You know, okay. it's called kinesiology taping. Okay. And a lot of people... Kinesiology tape. Yeah, no, taping. Taping. It's a technique. Okay. And people are, I mean, you wouldn't believe patients that are like, you know, well, I'll just buy some tape. I'm like, yeah, how many seminars did I go to? <laughs> 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 to, to you know, because it really depends. Where, okay, I'm just going to talk over everyone's head. You know, well, did you put it at the origin of the insertion? Where did you put the tension versus did you want to facilitate the muscle or did you want to relax the muscle or did you want to support the muscle? Did you put 50% pull, 10%, 70%? So, so it is, here, so go it, buy some tape. So it is. It, yeah. 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 So it is. It is a. Val, it is a. Um, a pra practi practical and valid treatment. Oh, very. But it. But it has to be applied properly. And not just by some practitioner. You know, okay. everybody. I watched it when it came out. You know, I. I really enjoy it because it. it I don't know. It feeds my creative side as okay. well, and it's a puzzle, and I. I love doing it, but. Um, you know, I mean, there's a huge symposium that without it, it's not even chiropractors that's being held here. That's all, um, it's mostly medical doctors, orthopedics, mm -hmm. this and that. You know, it's going to be a huge symposium. Sports medicine trainers. But yet every, you know, um, 
I don't want to name any particular uh, well, anyone with no, you know, yeah. no experience or background, because I guess right, say, yeah. No but they buy the tape and they slap it on their patients. Uh, and well, guess what? I did that too. I went to some store on one of the streets. I saw it being sold at Walgreens, yeah. and I'm like, uh, yep. There's, a, I've tried the three, at least three top brands, and there's only one that I believe in. Mm -hmm. So, so, so it is a valid because I keep looking at it and say, well, it's just some other way of trying mm -hmm. to sell us stuff. Yeah. But applied properly right. with the right. Right. Very effective goal. Yeah, then it becomes very effective. Mm -hmm. So just don't go down to Walgreens or wherever, pick up a but even box. But like, you know, then you may love tape. your chiropractor, but they um, doesn't mean they know what they're doing in this venue. Okay, and, right? and it's kinesiology. Mm -hmm. Kinesiology taping. Kinesiology taping. I'm gonna Google that when I go yeah. home. Yeah, and there's then, a and that's the other thing is that you know the age of the internet, everyone's got this much knowledge, yeah. which is a dangerous ask. thing. Yes. Like, you know, it started mine started with the patient actually saying, "Oh, just oh, just go on YouTube. I know you can figure this out." And I'm like, right. "You really think that's a good? I mean, yeah." So you're yeah. you got to deal with the YouTubers. You got to deal with those that feel that oh, I've had this done and I fixed it before and I know. You know, like someone like me telling you what to do. You know. Right. Oh, that's yeah, yeah, fun. Don't, don't look at that face. <laughs> <laughs> I will never do this, doctor. Don't worry about that. Okay, so uh, anyway, this is very cool. So anyway, um, how can people get a hold of you? Where's your website? Where are you located? Can you just give us a quick yeah, yeah. on that, Ms. Yep. Um, I am in the first building in Waikiki. It's um, right at the corner of Kalakala and Alawai. It used to be the Pacific News building. Oh, um, yeah. Right across from uh, the convention center. It's super easy to find, validated parking. Um, on the on the web, I am on There's some pictures I'm right like there we everywhere. just put up of, oh, your, wow. of your facility. Oh, I, nice. I, I took those. Yeah. I didn't take the photos. I took them from you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so there I have what you saw is a, you know, there's a private exercise studio as well as the chiropractic office right and um, uh, so I can offer all services there um, let's see on the I'm in I'm on everything now you name it Yelp Yelp <laughs> right? yeah. you know and, Yelp and LinkedIn way, um, like, yeah. Yelp. I, people Yelp. help me and I don't even know where I am anymore um, but you know pretty I'm not hard to find put it that way yeah. and but my website is uh, Waikiki chiropractor.com Okay, so don't don't lose that one. That one's easy to remember. We'll put that right. up on we'll put that up on the site. Anyway, as we do with every guest who appears on this show, we give them a autographed solo cup, which oh. you can display with great pride at your office. Uh, and uh, you're number one thirty three in the series, and it's been autographed by Angus. And um, I'll make sure he puts a kiss on it. Anyway, that's for you for coming on our show. Thank, Thank you, you ever so much. It's been just it's a been pleasure fun. having yeah. you here. So this is Hibachi Talk. We're on every Wednesday at one. Last I checked. That, that's what it was today. That's what it was today. So we'll probably be the same time next week. Uh, you can also find Hibachi Talk on YouTube. Please check out our shows um, and have some fun on it. And um, we have a little thing we say at the end of every show. Remember I mentioned this? Oh, that's yeah. right. Mm -hmm. So like we say at the end of every show for all of our guests that are watching, one, two, three. How, How you, you doing? doing?